hey yo it'd be me it'd be them we out of here <laughs> uh so my throat's a little bit fucked up tonight mm. um still should be fine i've got plenty of water plenty of fluid to drink in the meantime um recap stuff party had found themselves in the presence of jake jack jacob whatever the fuck you want to call him and rockshaw um getting uh, acclimated with those two having some brief conversations squall dragging jack into seemingly a uh, dream realm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation finding out some much needed info about the cycles and the uh beginning roots of aeon or gibraltar being handed a gift um everyone had a little bit of a feast to start their day and after just some basic conversation, Engage seemingly was taken away by a very familiar individual that we all know quite well. Um, and the party began their journey toward what was pointed as the direction of Lust uh, Lair. Soon enough, they found themselves uh, coming across a wounded individual. Uh, healing him, they found out that his name was uh Argus McFife and uh finding out about the political state of his homeland and the well being of his individuals and his exile the party decided to uh help him on his quest of not exactly revenge but justifying his home and challenging his father to the throne. Uh Proc was the one to, un to undertake this task and after a quite surprisingly close fight um proc was able to take the win and the deals that were exchanged were as such if proc had lost he would be indebted to the mcfight family whereas if proc won squall would be able to seek counsel with his sister and argus would take the throne after a victory uh Um, after the victory, Squall was escorted, uh, Squall was escorted to where his sister was kept, and the door closed, and what seemed to be a familiar visage was there, and that's where he picked up. You're kind of caught off guard for a bit, Squall, seeing Aeon, and you blink a few times. He's no longer there. Wait, he's not there at all. Gone. I look to my sister, if she's there? She's there. She just kind of looks at you a little confused. You, um, uh... what, what are you looking at? Didn't see... that? You... You close the door. I close the door. Yes. In my mind, did I close the door? You remember something else closing the door. Look to my hands. It's your hands. Do I, do I smell anything? Like, do I smell foreign magic? Um... Nothing seems foreign to you, no? I'll speak to her and Draconic. Uh, sister, it's good to see you, but... Are you sure you didn't have another guest in the room? Um... Alcott was here earlier to speak of things with me, that is about all. Hmm. Is is everything okay, brother? It's been some time. You've your tail. Yes. Um I'll explain. I'm here partially because of you. So um when I came back to the village, 
Well, hmm. it would have been several months ago. You, you kind of see a moment of like shock on her face. How much time has passed on the material? Several months. Probably, I would, would, you, would you say eight or so months? Eight, nine months? Uh, I'd actually shoot for like six or six. five. Okay. Close to around half a year. Oh, oh, oh okay. My calculations but, are fine then. It's the Feywild. How long of, do you think you've been here? Um... In material days, or in how many nights I have rested, or how many how times many time, how many nights you rested here? Um, then I would say possibly to have 40, 43 or so days. Interesting. So not too long. So, how did you come about getting here? I uh, help. Some yes. Sip, sip down a hole. No, it was it was allied help. I was trying to find uh, a better means to help our cause, which I assume you're still in search for. Yes and no. Our village, the Duskmaw, has been to a better extent repopulated with those who had become ill. However, those who were felled by other means were not. Mm -hmm. But the mystery as to why it has befallen those in the desert, the mountains, and our swamp is still inconclusive. That now, is bothersome. Shrewd is at the village, and father is back as well. That as well. As his mother. That is quite surprising. Yes. When I'm not here by myself. I have befriended many capable and reliable allies. Or at this point, friends. Non-dragonborn friends. Never pinned you for much of the social type. Neither did I. But here we are. So. What are you still doing here? I'm curious. I'm still in search for... Um, something to assist in the ailment. I see. And these people have helped. I kind of... They're, raise raise a, a brow. They're somewhat of a means to an end. I see. So you feel they're capable, but... There is a but. What's... What's keeping you back? They're slow going about their business and more concerned with their own matters instead of mine. Yes, they have their own set of policies and sex they seem to adhere to that are very strict hmm. regardless um this is a very good opportunity for me to rekindle with you but I would ask you to return to the material plane with me but I feel you are on a lead to something here so I'll leave it to your choice if you wish to return with me, my compatriots, or if you feel you would be better served in your own devices here. Ah. I would at least be able to tell mother, father, brother, and the rest of the village that you are at least in safety and capable hands from what I've seen. Hmm. I suppose I would meet with your group and then decide from there. If they are capable and you've made your way here, then... Oh, they're... well, there is a catch to that. Uh, that was only part of the story. So, we have been... Naturally, if things were going as we would like, we would be here... 
by our own power. But an entity far beyond any of us had caused us to tumble between two realms thus far. <coughs> One that mimicked but was a very false negative image of our own realm with a visage of horror and just ear muck and dread. And then by chance of meeting a very wanting a satyr, uh, we were cast here. Many of us are capable of our own powers to uh, take us back home, but something based on how we initially got into this mess is preventing us from doing so. So therefore, we've come to the belief that we're in some sort of game or a maze that we have to meet the requirements to before we can truly leave. Now, the yeah. fact that I can have this conversation with you is questionable. I don't disbelieve that I am not talking to my my sister truly in the flesh, but more so, this is a very contrived maze that allows me privileges, but at the same time keeps me constrained and as if I was shackled to the realm. So, I am unsure at the moment that we can return. Mm. But when we are sure, rest assured that we will be able to do so with haste and with, uh, to at least aid you if you do wish so. But, um, you said you wish to meet my friends, yes? Hi. I, see. I think they would be interested to see how my neck of the journey has brought me here as well. Um, what else have you learned? Anything different? Um, Unnatural? There is a, uh, there is a mother of the Feywilds. A mother? I, I was hoping to seek counsel with her and possibly find an answer for the element. Is this what the natives here call her? Aye. She goes by many names, but I... I'm not father, and I cannot ho shackle you to a life of overbearing security. Hmm. You're, go you're bound to know at some point or not, but if that's what you wish, I will advise caution. Very well. Do not spur mother's wrath. Just as we would not wish to spur our own mother's wrath. I see, I see. That's all I can say. Well, maybe they'll have some food for us as well. You ready? I'll put my hand out to like, kind of like gently uh, grab her and act as a, a pseudo escort. Yeah, I got you. Um, she just kind of reaches out and takes your hand kind of firmly. It's odd. You haven't, you know, seen your sister in ages and she's here in front of you. It's almost elating. Has anything about the conversation on their end, their tone, their mannerisms, stricken me as off? As like what? Off. Hmm. She's she still has the characteristic characteristics of her of like what you remember her as. It's just you haven't seen her in so long. I mean. She's a little bit different from what she was. I'm just the way you worded it. You made me like my uh, my exclamation go off in my head. Yeah, I get you. Um. Well, shall we? I suppose we shall. I'll open the door 
this time, and I'll close the door this time. Yeah. You all watch as Squall steps out with this uh, female uh, dragonborn. And what, what? Is she like the same kind as you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. She is a more redder hue, as if she was a very clean bronze. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, because I was going to roll if I could tell them apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very easy. She has a more, is... she has a, she, I have a more dull color. She has a more vibrant color. <laughs> and there's actually bits and pieces of... Uh, if you looked closely at my own scales and skin, you would see that there's tinges of blue underneath my scales. Mm. like Similar to like cyan or... Uh, <laughs> various uh vibrant um gems mm. so like turquoise but okay. they're typically in the seams in between scales she has okay. very yeah she has a her scales are very vibrant but her inner layers would be duller mm. hmm. kind of just looks about and has a tail kind of sparkly eyed at the prospect of of this very vibrant looking now we, we never went over this sheet but how large is my sister comparatively to the other group um, members she's small in dragonborn standard mm -hmm. she's only standing at about 5'11 or so okay so she's still is taller than Layla Lay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright. She's my height. <laughs> so who, who else is behind the door after us? Remember that uh, Proc was with me and... Um, Alcott. Alcott. Yeah, yeah we're still at the door. We're just talking about the mm -hmm. fight. Alcott okay. kind of looks over and he goes, Hey! Good to see you again. Squat's your sister? she is she looks just like you it's weird she looks weird <laughs> i scratch my head and then i just go back to talking about the fight <laughs> she kind of your sister kind of looks over to you as well that's that is proc he uh, is he is well what we would call a barbarian but mm. is quite a sharp for the bound of muscle that he is. I see. Great. Hello, Greg! Greg! Hey, what's up, hey, what's up bro? Where were you? Let's go! Hey! Ah, so happy to see you, Gray. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll have his introduction to the scene in a bit. <laughs> okay. Hell yes. Happy to have you. Welcome back, Gray. Welcome back. Hell yeah, welcome back, brother. All right, I'm I'm back in the scene. You. Yep. Um. But yes, that's Prog. I see. I see. Um. He's he is actually the one who is gave me the privilege of the conversation for you to get go. So. Oh. Huh. Um. If he were to have lost his bout with Alcott, then I probably would have never seen you. And you see your eyes kind of get kind of wide because you hadn't mentioned the terms of how you met her. She kind of gets wanted, and she like kind of steps forward to prop. You, you beat Alcott. Yeah, that's the man himself. You kind of watch as she just like kind of puts a hand like on your bicep. Oh, and she kind of looks at the sword. I look at my sister. She like <laughs> she, she's like, you use that. Yep. She, she looks back to you, Squall. She's like shaking. She's like, this is a monster. You did <laughs> say you wanted to gauge, my friends. Did somebody say engage? <laughs> <laughs> That's As what I'm slowly toking on my joint that I rolled way earlier and found in my sleeve. <laughs> wait, wait. Am, am, am I in the scene, by the way? I forgot if I... Yeah, y'all are like kind of y'all are like in the back a little ways. Not oh. as close. Oh, I see. I'm kind of, I'm kind of starry-eyed across the room at just this 
this uh, this dragonborn that looks so much like a squall, except a bit more vibrant. Yep, and a and a tail. And a, and and a and this tail still there, yeah. Well, um, sh sh do do you want to introduce me to the rest? Um, I'm not I'm not good at this. Ah, uh, sister, I think you need to break yourself out and become a little extroverted. You have traded one place of solitude for another. Mm. I think you some socialization would benefit you. She just kind of... <laughs> Mother would agree, after all. Mm. You always were a bookworm. Mm. How... How do I... A curtsy. Mm. I had a curtsy, a bow. Squall? Yes. There ain't no need to bow. Just go talk to him. Say hi. Say your name. That's what I do. Mm. You can always give him the typical Duskmoth introduction, as if you were speaking to another dragonborn. Just be lenient on the shaking. Mm. Okay. So she kind of like begins to kind of like skip over. And she kind of looks at the group at hand right now. Looks about. While she's like completely distracted, I'm gonna use a cantrip to squirt some water behind her ear. <laughs> kind of watch as she just kind of stops and like gets stiff for a second. <sighs> well, sister, there's no need to sour the mood. <laughs> See, looking at like the group at hand at the moment, currently seeing a man made of goop, a drow, <laughs> a, and a tiefling. I, I give her like a, a ginger wave when she eyes over me. She's, she's like, she doesn't exactly know who to contact first. It's she's very skeptical, like because her first impression was she saw Proc. Mm-hmm. As she approaches, I, uh, I, I, uh, approach her, well, and I reach my hand out, and I say in Draconic, how are you? She responds in Draconic, like, a bit excitedly, like, oh, 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 you, you speak like me, oh, okay, hi, pl pleasure spent, to meet you. Yes, I spent many a days with a, with a dragon, and some dragon folk of from where I'm from, and uh, learned a few of their tongue. Very interesting. Um, you don't seem to be uh, much of the physical type. Oh, mm, not so much. No, more so of the uh, silver tongue type. Ah, I see. I see. Well, that is all and well. Um. I, 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 don't I know cast, I cast, I cast a message, and I just kind of whisper into it, direct it to her. Try the female with the horns. It's a tiefling sister. I think she'd be delighted to conversate with you. Okay. And she just kind of looks to you and gets. You can respond back to this message. <laughs> she kind of looks to you and gets. It, it, it is nice to meet you. Um, I'm gonna to go greet the others, I suppose. I bow my head and say, well, it's nice to meet you as well. <laughs> she kind of like turns to you later and kind of steps forward. She's about four feet from you now. I'm like, I'm like looking like a starry eyed idiot. <laughs> uh, and I, 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 I'm going to give her a bow, but some, some part of me decides that I should shake it up and I give her a curtsy. <laughs> curtsy and full like plate armor. <laughs> yes. Well, I, no, I got a skirt. I got a skirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. She kind of smiles and kind of returns a curtsy. So, mm -hmm. you, uh... I am Lele Lele Enderwin. Nice to make your acquaintance. I I bow and I'll, like, offer my hand after. She kind of, like, grabs you by the forearm. 
Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> I like, I like oh. this, I like this fer- ferv- fervency. I, I kind of look up for fervency. For, I like your fervor. Uh, and I look her, I look her in the eyes. It's, um, oh. it's an honor to meet the 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 sister of uh, a friend that I appreciate and honor so much. I I see, I see. Um. Well, you all seem quite capable, and she kind of like looks over to the drow. Um, you have a drow with you. Yes, he is very capable as well. And, and your name, Drow? Oh. Uh, my name is Lucas. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, a pleasure as well. Um, as I just bow. <laughs> kind of like looks about a little awkwardly. Then skips back to Squall. <laughs> do you want... A... So... Do you want me... You said you're stuck here, currently. In a maze. Hmm. Do you want me to accompany you through the maze, or stay here until you're done? Not yet. You will probably have to... We'll see the mother. Mm -hmm. We'll let you know when we depart. Right now, we're missing... I look to scour for our halfling. Our very... The halfling is gone. Oh. Well, I guess the other introductions will have to wait for now. And we do have, well, there is another two members, one party member and the other, their sister as well. But oddly enough, and funny enough, I think you'll have a very delightful conversation with her when she turns up. But I, yes, which, um, I kind something, of, oh, go on. Uh, I kind of lean over. Uh, lean over Skull Sister. It seems a lot of us here have sisters that look very similar to us. <laughs> Skull, you're the first to notice with your perception. The hue of the place around you has become a bit more dull. Like, the environment has changed a bit. Mm-hmm. Like, just the color and everything. And you start to notice... Certain people are not moving. You notice that Argus and Alcott and the guards are no longer moving. And your sister is almost like seemingly like frozen in place. Whereas the party members are still very capable of moving. Do, do we see this too? It takes you a bit to notice and catch on, but soon enough you are all aware that something is off. I'm still talking to Argus, so he just stops mid-conversation. I'm like, uh, hey. Just wave my hand in front of his face. I kind of see I this think, with Proc. I think mm-hmm. if you're here, you can show yourself. You kind of watch coming out of the building that you just came from, Squall. You see the very familiar Elven face. Oh. I figured as much. Uh-oh. What do you want? Just kind of looks about. If you want to kill me, you can do it now. No. It's not yet. Oh. What uh, batch of boredom has brought you here today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why are y'all here? Because of you. Oh. Well, at least we think that's how it is. Mm-hmm. Did you do this very, thing? very interesting contrived piece of magic you've worked. Mm. I'm so curious that uh, you're missing a few of your people. Yes, that's it's becoming the norm. Mm hmm. Do you have any hand to play in that? I don't think so. He seems... How does he look? With my, like... If I can... Is it even possible to read a lich's facial features? 
Make an insight check. All right. Wow. 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 Wackies. Wackies. Wacky <laughs> slide. Uh, <laughs> the walk. 19. Yeah, that's pretty fun. He seems to just be studying y'all. Mm. So, um... Break the ice. Can we help you? Mm, I don't know. Can you? Oh, you have before. <laughs> Much to your dismay of the outcome. You don't seem comfortable here. No, something's off. You're telling us. Is it because of her? No, it's not her. I'm not the one stopping time. Oh. What? You don't reckon she did it? The old it. lust over there? Oh. Mm. So why are you here? If you didn't stop time, what are you doing here? Well, I picked up an imbalance, something. Uh, actually, I can't really tell you all that, but... It's not because of the further imbalance of the children of chaos and the realms, is it? Or is it something entirely different? No, this is something familiar. Hmm. Familiar? Oh. But it's uh, too early for that, and it doesn't make sense. Are you referring to him? It? Which it? Well, in our conversation before we got slammed into these set of realms that in various uh, very strange trips we've been making not because of our own ways Kane did tell us a little bit about a relationship of something you had with a very powerful entity oh not... no this is something even worse than that I think what? that's possible? Worse. I thought that was supposed to be worse than everything <laughs> You all notice, you all kind of hear just kind of like this fizzling. You look over, and you see Kane and Nara Serene kind of just looking around. A little confused, a little lost. Huh? Uh, oh, Kane. Mm. Uh, Kane? Hey. What? Uh, what? Hmm. Yes, uh, you just came through a portal out of nowhere. Yes. Where, uh, where, where'd y'all go? I don't know. Do you... What's the last thing you remember? Last thing I remember, we were inside that uh, cabin. Yes. Huh. Hey, on what'd you do this time? He. Mm. It's not his doing. I don't. This. I, that I would be it? mine. Oh. Uh, you all turn your head to the voice, and you all see. Well. Whatever you want to see. Whatever your mind can make up is what you see before you. Uh. Why is there a crab there? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of look... You kind of just hear Aeon. You see a uh, crab, I see a llama. Shit. <laughs> All I see is a floating book. Damn. Wow. All of your minds are very interesting. Why is a child looking at me? Uh, and it's well, and it's a it's a smaller version of me. Uh, huh. Blast from the past. Does it still have its tail? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you were all done with your cross dialogue then. I think so. Who are you? Ah, oh, me. Well, I'm everything and nothing. Why are you here? Ah. Uh, no, yes, as, as, uh, as the uh, Lich said, a little early. You're a little early? Yes, I'm a little early. But things have changed due to the Lich. Isn't that right? 
Can I, like, Aeon is just standing there. Just completely expressionless. Why don't you inform them of what you've done? Come on, Aeon, what'd you do this time? Nervously look towards him. In reaction, I, uh... Use my goopy cloak to drop my bag of skeletons on the ground. And leave it there for the moment. Gotcha. Thinking back to my conversation with Jake, is there any mention of siblings or children or adult figures of Gibraltar? No. Okay. The Aeon's just kind of standing there. Who would you kill this time, Aeon? Yeah, oh. Carlos, the big man said you had to. See, I like the half work. He refers to me as a big man. He understands the position he's in. Huh. You stop time. Not many people would do that. Can I uh, move any of the frozen entities at all? Do you try? Just, just m mostly moving fabric. Just like I'm trying to pull like it's just locked in place. Mm. I don't know, freeze. Interesting. Hmm. Well, if he's not going to say it, I guess. All right, I'll say it. One of the sin one of the other sins have died. What? what? Which what? one? Hmm. Was it pride? Was it by your doing? Of course, it's by my doing. Why'd you go? Because he wants to. I currently hold on to two artifacts. What? You, uh, Wait. you, uh, you did in gluttony, didn't you? Hmm. No, gluttony is no enough. longer a threat. Yeah. Was it greed? No. Pride? Lust? Did he kill lust? Thought you couldn't. It wasn't so, as a matter of fact we couldn't. It wasn't a good idea to do it. Big man, did he kill lust? Mm, no, he didn't. Did he kill greed? I will not elaborate any further. But I've already caused a little bit of mischief and threw a wrench in his plans, like I always do. I bid you adieu. And time's back to normal. There's no Aeon. Do we still see the, the figure? Nope, the figure and Aeon are gone. Uh, and, like, everything just kind of picks up where it left off or whatever. I immediately like. sent a message to all of them. Don't say a word to anyone what just happened. I sent a message to Kane saying that just go along. These are... <sighs> I'll explain. Just act as if you just came through the portal to say hello. I, 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 I can respond fast? back in messages, right? You can. All of you can. Okay, I, I, how, I, how fast can you send a message to all of us? Can't you just do it at one at a time? For he action? has to technically do it one at a time. Yeah. We, we can assume he but, does it really fast. So who's, who do you send it to first? You. Okay. Then Proc. Then Lele. Then right. Kane. The Narasarine. I, I I nod back, but and engage in text, in text form. I was just gonna stand there dumbfounded. I'm okay. just gonna look left, look right, continue talking about the fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blink like ten times in succession, and then just uh, just continue sit, sitting there a little, just looking around the room. I'll go ahead and click my bag off the ground. Alright. So, um... What do we do, squad? So, yes, this is, uh... I point to, uh... The two that appeared out of a portal out of thin air to her right now, because she did see the portal. Ah, yes! This is... Wow. My friend and compatriot, Ken, and his sister, who I was referring to no, earlier. actually my sister... Very close relative. We're not. 
Y'all are basically sisters, brother, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you take one hit too many times to the head again? I must. Have, I've been stabbed a lot, but not in the head. He couldn't reach up there. <laughs> I choke on my joint as I'm trying to not laugh too loud. <laughs> Des. What's up, Desi? Desi. Hello. Hey. Hey you. Hey. Oh, what are y'all doing? I just, as I was gesturing to Ember, that Nara, Serene, and Kane. It's up to her if she wishes to kind of familiarize herself with them. Um, alright. She just kind of walks up. You all see, Kane, basically what you're looking at is uh, a shorter female dragonborn with like a lighter reddish hue. Very similar to Squall, just mm -hmm. kind of like a brighter, shorter, bit more thin frame. Has a tail. Okay. Um, she just kind of looks at you. She says, "Um, pleasure to meet you." Pleased to meet you. Kind of nods and nods. Serene, nods. Serene nods back. Yeah, she's a dragon. I pull in a nod. Serene, a dragon. <laughs> I facepalm because of all the issues we had during this whole time we were in the Fate Wild. I get, I suddenly get more goopy due to the awkwardness of that. <laughs> oh, I see. Not every day I get to meet uh, a dragon dragon. And now Serene just kind of, kind of just kind of like waves a hand dismissively. And your sister goes back to you, school. <laughs> anyway, um, shall we have? Would it be lunch time? No one yeah. knows. It's a favor. Because of the the <laughs> breakfast we had, and we wanted for a few hours, or would it be closer to like a? I mean, y'all are y'all are a little hungry. I look to Alcott. Can we have a? Meal? Nah, a hearty meal what? indeed. Not the problem. <laughs> Allow me like, to feed everybody. I kind of mutter to myself. Maybe he would have won if he took that eating contest. Hmm. <laughs> right. So, Alcott just kind of like claps his hands. Stops. Because as the guards aren't moving. And he goes, oh. He looks to Argus. Argus just goes, <laughs> oh. 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 And the guards begin to, like, move out. Oh, that sucks. That's very... Get more goopy to that awkwardness as well. Insane. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do now that you're not king? Mm. Kind of Plenty looks. of things. Alcott looks to his son, Argus. I'm I'm still Argus kind of pipes up. I'm I'm still adjusting. I uh, um, we'll we'll eat. Give me some time to think everything over. Hey, important question: Who is this? Oh yeah, I fought him to the death. If I lost, I was enslaved. <laughs> it, That's it, not it, how fighting to the death works, Brock. This the is death. the residence of. This, well, now his estate. This is Argus, or I should say, true heir, and I guess oath keeper of this place here in the Fight Wild. I'm pretty sure you can ask more of his story of him, but uh, we healed him, recuperated him. Had a conversation after leaving from the cabin. Found ourselves here. Aided him. And has rightfully taken, I guess, the throne of this place. But I'm pretty sure you can ask more at 
meal time. I see. We've essentially aided in a family strife. You call it a strife, I call it a coup. Was it a coup? I don't see any chickens. Me neither. <laughs> Argus kind of speaks up. Well, there wasn't any um, true bloodshed. There was only battle. And no it was blood. agreed upon. Indeed. Alcott kind of pipes up now. Well, I've lost. We've arranged our agreements. Everything seems to be going as you intended. Um... I'll go get the table ready. Thank you. He just kind of walks off. Somewhat of a limp. Mm. So, oh, let's take a tour. I'd oh, rather yeah, go to sleep. Tour would be great. You. Uh, you Argus. Argus. Oi. Right. <laughs> Can you fetch a room for Proc here? Um. I, I, I can get that arranged, yeah. Could you bring food to me, too? You, you're not going to eat at the table? Uh, I'd rather uh, eat in my bed. He needs oh, nourishment sorry. as he heals. I'm pretty sure he still might show up. Just Well, I, I am indebted to you to some, so yes, of course. Thanks. Mm. Well, I'm not going to keep you busy, Argus. I guess make do with what you... Need to at the moment. Can I grab this guard? I point to a guard. <laughs> I uh, want him to give me a room. He could be my guard. Very well. Um, you young man. Hey, me. Yeah, yes, yes. You, you're, you're, you're going to uh, escort uh, Croc Jaws here. Hi, right, sir. Kind of walks over. Hello, big guy. Hello. Um, do you want a downstairs or upstairs room? Whichever one's harder to get to. <laughs> uh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, upstairs, then, if you would just, uh, was, and he kind of like looks and he like kind of points at the windows. Which one of those would you like? Start walking up to the windows. <laughs> oh, no. Sir, so that's, not, that's not the door. I start climbing. <laughs> <laughs> Make an athletics check. <laughs> it's like a plus a six plus that's plus eleven. It'd be like a seventeen. I'm not Proc raging, is, so it's not double efficient. Yeah. Double efficient. Proc is currently climbing the wall, and the man just goes, "Oh, oh my, uh, sir! Yeah, it's quite dangerous. Uh, don't." What? You might you might want to go catch him. On I like this one. Stairs. I just smash a window and just start going in. <laughs> you step inside. You enter this room. There are currently two individuals in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> one. <Good morning>. One. <laughs> you see a man kind of. St sitting up, like, almost reaching to the nightstand where, like, his blade rests, and he's like, Who the fuck are you? I just beat your king in fair battle. Can I sleep here? <laughs> oh my god, it's rust all over again. It's fucking rust all over again. Bust down a door. Hey, can I live here? <laughs> oh god. Um. Uh. Um. The... I assure you, there are more. There, there are other rooms. But I broke this window. <laughs> now I chose this room. Now I hope you don't mind. I, I, I do mind. Who's that with you? Hmm. Who's that with you? Don't, don't worry about them. <laughs> Y'all don't mind if I lay there. <laughs> I need, I, 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 need, I need to lay down. I need to lay down. I've had a, a um, rough battle. Like, um, we do mind if you lay here. That's okay. I'll just start walking <laughs> towards the bed. 
<laughs> oh, please let us get out of the bed at least. <laughs> I just I sit down on the edge of the bed. Oh, long day. I take out the sword. I just fucking drop it on the floor. <laughs> Very long day. I take off my uh, <laughs> the white dragon fucking tail, the scorpion tail, the Ankega trophy. I just place them all on the nightstand by his blade. I grab his blade. <laughs> Who made this? <laughs> uh, I, I did, sir. You made this yourself? Oh no! Yes. Oh no! How many people have you stabbed with it? Mostly monsters. I kinda like start flicking it like ding, ding. It's decent. Do you think you could make a better one? Uh, with, with, with time, yes. How long? Oh, um, <laughs> that blade took me like a week to make. You like this blade? Yes. How much? What do you mean? How much? Wh huh? <laughs> How much? I... I have this torch that never goes out. I pull it out of my, my bag of holding it. <laughs> Still lit. <laughs> I I don't see how that's of any benefit to me. Quite the blade. I throw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you hear the person under the covers. Honey, is everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> is that your father? I... <laughs> <laughs> No. Outside, you don't want um, to outside the the broken window, outside the broken window, you hear footsteps, and a female tiefling go, "Oh wow, cool sword!" And then you hear you hear them pick up the sword. <laughs> nice. You don't mind if I lay here, no? <laughs> hey, uh, honey, honey, can you talk to this uh, individual, please? <gasps> And you watch as this incredibly frail individual comes out the covers, like just a frail man. Excuse me, sir. I would like for you to get out of my bed. But I'd like to lay here. But I would like to not have you lay there. I need a rest. Yes. And he kind of takes a pillow, just sets it on the floor. Ah, that makes sense. I yeah. just lay down on the pillow. I just turn my back. Like you're just like on the floor? Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's how you handle things, honey. <laughs> I have my sub cuddled up to my fucking giant ass sword. <laughs> I was about to say that. I was about to say I could just imagine him cuddling to his sword. Mm. How does he not cut him? Power. It's very blunt. <laughs> it's a blunt object. It really is. It's huge. Oh God. It's much more like a heaping slab of iron. Oh yeah. my God. Oh I God. felt it coming. I it's, felt it coming. It's Dragon Slayer. No. <laughs> no more, it's more. Now. It's more. Of, it's more of the Fumes Ultra Great Sword. <laughs> oh, that's oh, jeez. That's awesome. It's, it's so it's a huge slab of stone. Got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Boo. Does he? Argus is just looking up. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Our friend I mean, is quite interesting, I've come to learn. <laughs> yeah. He always surprises me. I, I, I kind of, like, rejoin the team with this really cool sword in hand. Uh, hey guys, it's I a dagger. Oh, it's a dagger. Oh, crap. I, I, I rejoin yeah. the party with a really cool dagger. And, hey guys, look at this thing that I found on the ground. Oh, that thing's shiny. Yeah. Cool, I have ten just like him. Yeah, lucky, lucky. I think these are really cool. I kind of just unsheath it and just cut at the ear like a like a kid. Mm. Argus is just gonna. Well, I'll make sure food is brought up to him at some point in time. Um, pretty sure the table's prepared if you all want to go sit and dine. That sounds good to me. Don't worry, we'll go in, we'll go in through the normal way. Yes, uh, we thank you. you. I, I go over and set the uh, the dagger in the like the little pool of glass that prop kind of broke. 
and then I rejoined the team. <laughs> okay. So you all begin to get like situated at like the dining table. Mm -hmm. Um, Stream just kind of takes a seat by Kane. Uh, Ember, is it Ember or Amber? Ember. Okay. Like a Ember fire takes... Ember. Yeah, yeah, Ember. What the fuck, Kane? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh my god. That's, That's just an ass walking. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> oh my lord. <clears throat> um, Ember just kind of takes a seat next to Squall. Um, Actually, we never heard her name, really. <laughs> no, she hasn't said it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Just kind of like the beginning first round of food is brought out to everybody. Um, if y'all are all free to have conversation between each other if you so wish. Argus is not with y'all at the moment. Oh, how did you get here? You recall? Are you talking to Amber? Yes. Okay. Um, I was, um... I was in the material plane at the time, and uh, I had came across quite the dangerous encounter, actually. Um, a hag had spoke a with hag. them for a bit and kind of came under good terms with them. And they said they'd be able to assist me in some... Uh, they would be able to assist me. Yes. So, and what did you offer? Um, just bring her back some goods um, from the Feywilds. With no way of getting back. Pretty On bad. your own. You realize you took a one way street, right? In hindsight, uh, before I did not, but uh, mm -hmm. afterwards, yes. I think I understand my mother wanted you to socialize with people more. Mm. All right. Well, did those yeah. hags have the realization that you could or couldn't get back? I'm starting to think that they might have been tricked. I see. Well, don't worry. We'll find out who they are. I'll have some questions for them later. Only I get to play tricks on my sister. <laughs> and I guess you're too, but he's... His jokes are... Dirty. <clears throat> I, I can come to respect you. How? We, bo we both look at her. Who are you referring to? Uh, I, I look at... I look at uh, Squall's... Uh, Squall's uh, sister... How? Oh, and my my name is Ember. Ah, well, I can I can come to respect you, Ember. How? Because I'm gullible too. Oh. I give her a really dumb smile. She's pure of heart, sis. Ember, mm -hmm. don't worry. Ironic, she worships the god of fertility. I, I give I give Kane a side eye. <laughs> Fertility can have many strange contrived purposes other than the general mindset of what you think it would be. <laughs> Sometimes fertility can mean just general growth of something to mean that it's prosperous. That it's blossoming almost. So, I would say that Lelele has a very prosperous smile and heart. I, I kind of just puff out my chest a little, very proud, for a moment. Isn't it underneath the plate armor? No, it's like it's like the the, the kind of like stance where you're like okay. pushing your your abdomen forward very proudly, cross armed. <laughs> Oh, 
Hags, uh, how did you come here? Did they find you, or did you find them? Um, I found them. Um, I was just, uh, going about and stumbled across this, and it seemed like a safe place to remain. I see. Well, how about this? When we do, and we will go back, that is my assured declaration, because we will find a way out. You can come with us. However, I would have the way of bringing you back, or even father, and potentially brother eventually. True. Uh, could bring you back if you wish to study and just reacquaint with these people more. I would like to return. I think we can arrange that, but just felt you have some semblance of trust and familiarity and hmm. just overall appreciation for these people. I feel it would be hinder your own growth and just general friendships if you were to suddenly splinter them. But that's on that's for you to decide. It's good to not burn your bridges too quickly. Yeah. So anyway, um Wow. The thing that happened, yes, that was uh That's new. That was a big wow gee whiz moment. Um what what? <laughs> what? <laughs> An alphabetical <laughs> wizard? Do you think that's what they were? Yeah, it's a... It's a a G-Wiz. Yeah, hmm. it's a new Jesus slang I'm trying to come up with. I hope it catches on. They, they just do grandiose magic? Yeah. Nothing more? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Anyways, um, yeah, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> well, we're alive. Someone's not, though. Uh... We still don't know exactly which one was taken out. They were very... They made sure to not specify. Well, That's the problem. It's hmm. four. It's, it's one of the four. Hmm. And Is it's it obvious. just us in, in the, uh, around this dining table? For now. I think, right? What up? Who's around the dining table with us? Uh, it's just y'all. Every now and then, like, a server will come in to, like, refill a drink. Well, yeah, is it just a... Food. Yeah, is it just a group and his sister? His yeah, Squall's sister? Squall's sister and, and not a serene, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, um... Yeah. Might I ask one question to you, Engage? What is that? Where did you go with Aeon back at the back at the cabin? What did you talk about? Oh. Well. I would like to talk to just a group alone, if that's okay. Oh, I can make sure that's possible. Not now, though. We can do that later. Okay. I'll explain then. Hmm. I carry a bit of an inquisitive look. A lot of As y'all look at me, I just take a long toke from my joint. Everything feels normal and... again. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... There's a lot of strange things happening here. I mean, evidently it's the Feywild, but... I don't know if these things are necessarily of Fey nature. We have a, a lot of things ahead of us, I feel. What is Fey Nature? Uh, Usually Fey Nature is a weird animal that wants to just eat your intestines, from my knowledge. This stuff is a bit more than that. From what I've heard, Fey usually like to trick people. That is also true. Did you know our, our halfling's father 
nearly uh, danced himself to death here? How? That's that true? Yeah. He kind of mm-hmm. just came here one day and he saw a fireplace and he just couldn't stop dancing. I never thought Apple would have that in him. Interesting. You'd, you'd, you'd should be, you'd should be we look out for fireplaces in the middle of the Feywild then? Campfire, yes. not a fireplace. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry. I meant to say campfire. I said sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'll correct. I'll correct myself. With, uh, campfire. Yes. Don't, don't, don't approach oddly placed campfires. What, what, what kind of dance was it? It was. Was it anything that he made up, or was it the campfire that made him dance in a certain way? They seem compelled and aware that they didn't want to dance. From my memory, right, right, you, like, were they like conscious while they were dancing, like? Yeah, they're like they, they couldn't really speak or anything. They were kind of like just stuck doing the motion or whatever. Like but a, you could tell like uh, they're fatigued and stuff like that. Like a state of mania. Yeah. I see. Yeah. This place, this place gives me the creeps. And I come, and I, I was born in a place of eternal darkness. That's saying a lot. Me being, um, I know where you come from, sister. We come from the same place you twerk, I. Ye, <laughs> have do I have any experience with the Fey, or the Fey Wild? Not much at all. This is okay. probably like this is your first time ever being here. Okay, just making sure. This place is quite uh, interesting, to say the least. Yeah. I've only heard stories and rumors of it. Yeah. And your story just now just adds to what I've already heard. It, this is the type of place that you'd prefer to keep as stories and rumors rather than life experiences. So well, we're I, here I, now. I, I personally feel the quicker we get <laughs> out of here, the better. How can you tell apart the rumors? Wait, what? What, uh, what, what, Lucas? How can you tell apart the rumors? The... You really can't. From truth and false. You really can't. But that, that's the thing. His story falls into the craziness that I've heard. I like to, uh, get up from the table and start walking around. Just very casually, as if I'm listening to the conversation. Okay. And, and I'm going to walk behind everyone and start plucking fibers from their clothing. Like, I'm, you I'm, grab I'm, a handful of gloop for me. <laughs> I, I, Squall manages to uh, pick out a single piece of, like, a little fiber cloth that's been sticking out of my dress that's been bothering me for, like, the past several weeks. Oh, thank you, Squall. And I'll start braiding it into a, yeah. a silken rope. Gotcha. Um, while you're walking around doing that, um, since you're focused on that, Kane, you notice that there's like a second squall just mimicking the exact same movements, almost like an after image. Oh, but he's not here. Fuck. <laughs> I'll tell him that afterwards. Okay. Um, yeah, he's the only one that has a high enough perception to see that. Oh. Well, of course. <laughs> I think me and I think me and uh, I don't know who has a lower perception, me or Proc. Definitely me. <laughs> um, easily. That, so, what's yours? What's yours? Uh, mine is uh, thirteen. That's twelve. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we both will not know anything if something shows up. <laughs> um. So, as you're resting, Proc, you're awoken. To the smell of food, and you're Luca, re- like directly in front of you. I just stand straight, uh, sit straight up, like a Michael Myers. <laughs> oh, it seems, you, it seems you're awake now. Who's up? That's that frail individual. I'm up. What's happening? I smell food. Some person brought you food. Ah, uh, my guard. I simply just look down at the food and just start devouring it. Very odd individual. Hungry. So yeah, um, the rounds of food are just kind of making their way around the table for all the rest of y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you can just sit, conversate. Um, 
if y'all want to go rest, y'all can rest, do whatever. Rooms are arranged for you all. Oh. Shall we... After a rest here, shall we continue tomorrow to where the twilight doesn't shine? The opposite of said as we were supposed to be. Yes, yes. See. I I see that to be the right decision. I guess that's the case. However, hmm, Kane seems to be in a train of thought. I'll wait till he, uh, finish. Anyway, I'll keep eating my meal. Anyway, we'll get back to that. I'm gonna keep scarfing down like a, a, a leg of meat. Mm -hmm. Where did you get an entire cake, Squall? A leg of meat. No, I, I know. I was, I was, I was, I was joking. I mean, you're welcome to try. It might taste like cake. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right. I think I've had my fill. Hmm. It could smell like cake, though. <laughs> if it's just a like cake, vegetation and make a and make the leg of meat smell like cake. <laughs> <laughs> Be good. You're welcome to try. You will try. Oh crap, I just realized. Uh what? Do I still have it? Uh where where would it be? Where would it be? Uh oh yeah. Um I kind of beckon like is, is there any like say guard or like uh any of the McFife's in, in, in view that I could I mean there's in? some guards. I here and there. Uh, I'd, I'd like to just quickly stand up and see if I could just go find one of the McFives, either the father or the son. Um, you're going to kind of, like, wander around and the guard's like, um, so you were eating, where are you going? I'm, I, I'd like to talk to, uh, either the, 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 the king or the ex-king. I need to ask them about something I found. Oof. Very well, very well. Give well, me one actually, sec. Actually, actually, would you know about this? I kind of just pull out one of the 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 coins I found here in the Feywild very long ago, the last time underwater. Would you know what this is? Is this a common thing around here? And I show him just kind of like the weird coins. See him kind of get wide-eyed and take a couple steps back. Where did you find those? Uh, under underwater. Just kind oh, of. Oh no. I just kind of, like, woke up one night and was guided to it by these weird fish. How, ma how, how, how many do you have? Uh, wow, that's lucky. Uh, 13. Oh. He kind of, like, leans in. Some say that, uh, whenever those coins are, uh, lost souls from the Fate Wildlands, Converted into a form of currency for the upper echelon fey beings to uh, exchange amongst themselves. Oh, it, it, is is there any way I could I don't know, just put these souls to rest or return them to the rightful owners? Um. Well, I. Oh, cool. You're not too familiar with the ways of the Feywilds, though. That's the, that's the main issue. You would have to try to find those that live in the darkness. They know better than anyone else. Those that live in the darkness. Hey, I am not one of them. I I look over. I look over to look at. I I wasn't. We we come from the same place. <laughs> and I look back to the guard. Okay, well. Thank you, good sir. Uh, I yell back. You come from a different town. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, look, <laughs> and I look back to the guard. Okay, well, thank you for the guidance. I'll try to do my best for whoever these are. Of course. I put them back in my pocket. And I go sit back down. Oh my! And I, I kind of just hold my hand to my forehead. Oh my God! I've been carrying around thirteen souls for the last several months. Yeah, um, didn't you give one to a Rakshasa? Oh God. <laughs> Lich! Oh, isn't, that, yeah. isn't it, like, out of character? That Brixox is dead, though. Yeah, I know, but we never recovered it. 
He's dead as know. fuck. <laughs> we never recovered the coin, so I don't know if you spent it or not. Uh -huh. Oh, God. <laughs> hmm. I may not be one of those dark people, but I think I know of some. I look over to Lucas. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> just Sometimes funny. we deal in the dark side. I... When we want I'm somebody back. missing. I look back. Oh, yeah. fuck um, are you? What's this conversation? I'm going back in. <laughs> hey, so, um, Kane, well, take a longer toe. Real quick, 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 quick. <laughs> rewind, rewind moment. <laughs> Uh -huh. Um, Squall was walking around, like, plucking pieces of fabric from everybody's clothing for something, and you noticed, the, like, you're the only one to see this, that there was, like, almost an after image, just kind of mimicking his exact movements, and, like, it just kind of made eye contact with you, then faded away. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Hell. And so, so yeah, so so Kane, as you return, you, you you're hearing as, um, well, I mean, you've always been there, but you're you're, you're kind of just hearing that the coins that I'm carrying have those mysterious coins I found a while ago have, uh, in them contain the souls of, of well, lost lot like lost souls of people who were who got lost in the Fate Wild. I'm, I currently have them laid out at the table. I've gotten small bowls of food like laid out in front of them, and I'm praying for them. I kind of have my hands clasped together and I'm like giving a chant with my eyes closed. Are you sure you should still be holding on to them now that you know what they are? Well, a part of me feels like I'd like to see if I can find a way to truly put them to rest so they're not, you know, coins for the rest of their non lives. You would really go through the effort to try and find where each soul belonged? Huh, maybe we'll come across something. Should I just... Are you suggesting I should just drop them on the ground somewhere? I'm not saying drop them on the ground somewhere, but put them somewhere where they can be at peace and not be in the Feywild. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do, ultimately. So, um, anything else you want to talk about? Or do you all want to go to sleep? Or do you want to do anything? I... I think I've had my fill. I'm pretty good. I'm ready to just get some rest. I'll start to go, uh, tell my sister she can, we'll just reconvene <laughs> later on. She can go rest, and I'm gonna go meditate outside. I'm okay. gonna go, uh, follow Squall. I want to point out something to him. Alright. I will go outside, but not follow them. I will gotcha. just, uh, roam the grounds. Gotcha, you gotcha. Know I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go outside in the, uh, big arena. That we were in before, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna test out Leoman's tiny hut. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can ritual cast it. So I want to test it out how it looks. Okay. I mean, it's kind of like just to like how your desire and how you're making is. Can I make it look like a hobbit house? Sure. It's a bubble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I mean, like on the inside, for his perspective, it make it look like that. But you on know the outside, it's just like you a know bubble. Funny, the map we're on. It still looks like it's. It could be a hobbit house with yeah, the. Yeah, I know that's <laughs> why I wanted to make it like that. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm I'm out in the arena with Lucas as well. I'm just hacking away at a tree. Fair enough. I, with I, what? I, an axe? No, just with just with my sword. With like my 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 pitch black sword. I'm just hacking away at it, and I'm just being really stupid with my my spells because I'm going to be resting soon. I like a dimension door like six feet up and do a large vertical slash on it. Try to divide it in two. <laughs> You're able to cleave into it in decent ways. Hell yeah. I'm kind of just like when my sword stops traveling through the through the, the you know through the wood, yeah. I'm kind of just hold on to it like a monkey bar. A little feet <laughs> off the ground a little bit. Wouldn't that blade just it's like a lightsaber. It just fuck up that tree. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's it has the same properties as a physical sword, but the magical enchantment on it allows it to do like to ignore resistances. Oh, okay. That's sick. Like... <laughs> yeah, I love the sword. All right. So, cannon's wall. 
Mm-hmm. I'll be right back real quick. Mm -hmm. Yep. I go to, like, sit down. Lean myself back up against, like, some bricks or, like, the walls. The, uh, <laughs> the area. Kind of just walk Close over. Eyes. Do I notice Shit. him kind of, like, uh, shadowing me? Depends I don't know. Am I, trying to be, am I trying to be stealthy about it? No, I'm not. <laughs> kind of peek open. Passive are you on my, are you, are you on my left or right side? Huh? Are you on my left or right side? Uh, left side. Oh, peek open my left eye. So, how are you taking to the Feywa again? I just put a finger over my mouth. As I get closer to him. And I kind of gesture to him to, like, send a message to me. Or try to communicate that without using words. I do so. so. I Something is attached to you. Or trailing you. I'll reply back with the message. You still see it? Not anymore, no. But when you were going around collecting fabric, there was an after image following you. And it made eye contact with me. Would I know if that's something I casted or not? Doesn't sound like anything that you've done. I see. Do you think it... I'll reply back in the... Just the cantrip. I think it's Aeon. Messing with me again? No, I don't think so. It might be something of this realm. I'm gonna... Ritual cast detect magic on myself. All right, um, you just pick up kind of like the usual magic traces of items and stuff around you. Hey, it's nothing but the usual. I reply back to the spell. I, were, I sent another message. I think it's just mm -hmm. the Fae playing tricks. Perhaps, I mean. but be on your guard, no matter what, anyways. I, I know their intention. I understand. I will. Um, I'll be here for a while. Just wait till everyone else rests or just get some. I don't know what you're doing with your sister before. But, uh, Again, she is not my sister. You know, she's been with us long enough that she feels like a sister. Okay, but she's not my sister. I understand. Alright, I'm gonna go keep an eye on things the others rest. I see. Um, I'll have a conversation with you later. Let everyone get some shut-eye. Alright. So I'm just gonna go around. I, 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 before keep... he leaves, mm -hmm. I, rec I recommend you just get some at least. Wouldn't hurt. I know. I understand that, but given the nature of this place, I can't rest easy. I see. Well, hopefully, you find some solace. Maybe. Um, you said you're just kind of like exploring the area, engage. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm sort of just exploring, um, figuring out where I am and what's here. Uh, trying to see if there's anything of use to me. I got you. Um, as you're kind of walking about or whatever, a few people kind of give you some odd glances. It's not every day you see someone with like this kind of like oozing cloak or whatever. And eventually, like, you kind of see this, like, human male begin to walk up to you. He goes, hey. Well, how do you do? Doing quite well. Doing quite well. Want to walk and talk for a bit? Uh, I look around and notice he, does he have any companions with him? It's just him. Just no him. Okay. To, no one trailing him or anything like that? Uh... 
sure. I will go with you. Um, what would you like to talk about? Mm. Let's see. Kind of looks about. Uh, not too many people in your shot. Seems like they're on to you. Oh. You don't say. Hmm. Well, yeah, and the whole that guy moment was very bothersome as well. That guy? You were present for that. Yes. Were they speaking of you? I mean, I'm still alive. Do you know who that guy was? I'm very familiar with that guy. I've dealt with him in previous cycles. Oh, really? Can you tell me of who? Some things are better left unsaid. Well, it would aid me well, especially since I have my own accords to tend to. Yeah, speaking of your accords, you have, uh, how long are you going to stay buddy-buddy? Well... As long as I need to, biding my time, collecting information, I have to know my enemies better than they know themselves. I suppose. Uh, I'll give you this. That, uh... Well, we'll just keep calling him that guy. He is neither reality nor the lack thereof. He's a he's sort of an intermediary. I see. Na 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 That guy! I see. So, is he pulling the strings now? No, not entirely. I see. In the astral plane, there are aspects. Such as, you know, anger, day, night, hot, warm, cold. Yes. What you were dealing with there was the aspect of time. Ah. I see. That all makes more sense to me, especially with the ability to tra trap time and not everyone. Usually with things I've seen in the past in time magic, it's usually... They control either the whole plane or none. Aye. All you need to know is... They do not have my interest, so... I see. Consider Should I deal with him? You can't. I can't. You can't just deal with an aspect. It takes a lot of work. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. It's not my first time dealing with them, and the memories are starting to come back. You, well, is there, uh, is there anything you can give me to maybe aid me to find stuff out for you, maybe? Uh, you've been doing decent enough with the, the task I gave you. Just continue on that. I see. Okay. I, uh, I will continue that. Um, is there, uh, is there any way mm. that um, you can bring a minion of mine that I left in the overplane to me? I can give it a shot. I'm talking about Rufus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. More than likely so, probably. But in exchange, I need you to do one more task. What is his task? Just kind of stops walking and looks at you. I want you to kill Alba. 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 Oh, fuck. And can I ask as to why? I mean, she's not part of the cr original group. 
No, not at all, but she is a very vital point for them. She allows them many accesses and she has many connections. All I need you to do is knock on her door four times and it will be the real her. I will make sure of that. Okay. I will take upon your task. Very good. The magical shop in the Dwarven Capital Torn. That is where you will find her. I see. I will, uh... It may take me some time since we're stuck in this god-awful loop. But, um... Yes, I'll take on this task. Good. Uh, will my entity be brought to me now or after the mission is done? Uh, you'll have it in the morning. I see. Thank you. Mm. He just kind of looks about. Oh, good talk, but, um, I suppose I should go in the meantime. Uh, yes, yes. Time to rest up. Good yep. talk. Yeah, you take care of yourself. And, uh, keep an eye on me. You'll always, be, always. You'll be interested to see what's to come. <laughs> Good. Just kind of saunters off. As, uh, as he saunters off, I, uh, go into one of my pockets and I pull out a piece of parchment and I write down the name. And I add it to my, and I pull out my tome of, that I keep with me, that I keeps all my notes and everything, and I set it in there. Well, I'm back off to the keep, or to the uh, residence, I guess. Um, And I start to stroll back. Alrighty. So, everybody, uh, <laughs> is everybody uh, going to sleep? Um, no. No? No. Alright. So, Lucas, what are you doing? I'm co- Do you mind if I look around the battlefield? Four. I remember that Engage dropped one of his bags of bones, but you never picked them back up. No, I did say I picked it back up. Oh, I thought you didn't. Yeah, I did say that. All right, Lucas. Uh, did you did you um, uh, like uh, out of character? Did you form that Hobbit house that you were trying to form? Yes. I am currently kneeling inside of it. <laughs> wow, this is radical. It is an interesting spell. It does allow for how many was it? Six people. I I, I like to. I'm imagining that you're outside of it, and I'm, I have my face fully inside the window, like looking out. <laughs> This is awesome. You could just do this anywhere. Yes. That's awesome. G wizard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel like uh, the dagger flies and slices. And slices for some resistance. reason, <laughs> for some reason, Lucas just feels like cringing. <laughs> Saying it out loud, I uh, Lila feels the same way. All of a sudden, you know, I I, I don't think that's gonna catch on. <laughs> I say, I look, I look I to the bottom left it's... and just say that. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna stop that one. <laughs> so, is this what this this spell does? It just forms a small, bit like, shelter. Yes. It also allows for a set amount of people, and it doesn't let anybody else else quick. in. Mm-hmm. Do you think? This is awesome. I like this. I kind of pull my face away from the window, try to stand up and hit my head on the ceiling and go back to kneeling down. I crawl out of, like, the doorway, and, well, I mean... Lele is, huh? Lele is perfect. <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> I, um, I kind of crouch under the doorway and come back out. This is, I feel like this is going to be a really helpful thing. We don't need to use, uh, tents or anything. Agreed. Thank you, Lucas. I am trying. I am learning a lot more different spells thanks to the thanks to this book. 
Oh yeah. Because I just have the Book of Shadows in my hand. Can I can I read that book? Sure, you can look at it. I, I don't I, know how it will work to others. I I kind of just take it and I I whiz through it. Lucas, what's my scene? I don't know. Basically, you basically you just see just like tiny like in shad just shadowy words all over it. Some just say like a spell name. Others say something else. What? And then just the book just starts changing and just says, "Why are you holding me?" Uh, I I just I I uncomfortable with that page. I kind of just flip through more pages and I go to a random page <laughs> and I I look up. Uh, why does why does the spell book got a recipe for apricot pie? I look up at Lucas. I don't know either. What is an apricot? I I I point the page to Lucas and it's a completely normal spell description. I'm assuming. <laughs> Huh. huh. I, 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 I think that spell is frostbite. I'm not sure. Oh, I, I mean, I, uh, it's, uh, it's an ink blot now. Uh, no, 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 no. Now it's, uh, now it's, a. Uh, it's, it's just a bunch of numbers. Interesting. It changes shape depending on who's holding it. You, you, I, I begin to, like, go cross-eyed. <laughs> Are you okay, Lele? Uh, here you can take this back. I just give Lucas the book back. I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll stick okay. to my sword. Yeah, that's probably for the best. That the book started looking a little weird. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, that was, yeah, I, I, I didn't like that. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go cut some trees down. I just get my sword out and run, run you into the arena. <laughs> Oh yeah, and Leoman's tiny hut allows for nine creatures of medium size or smaller. Awesome. They can fit inside a ten foot radius immobile dome. That's so cool. That's so freaking cool. <laughs> yep. Alright. So I'm guessing y'all are wrapped up with what y'all are doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I, I cut down some trees and then I head off the rest. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Kane, what are you doing? I'm just keeping an eye on things because I just don't, don't trust the nature of the Feywild. So I don't think anywhere is safe. Mm. I get you. Okay. So, um, Squall, evening is starting to come. You n you've noticed that m pretty much everybody's bedded up. Except for, you know, Kane. Uh, I'm going to look to uh, where my shadow is being cast. I'm going to talk to it. <clears throat> Is Greed dead? I'm sure you would know. Can I hear this voice just in the back of your mind? No. Good. I'll still keep my end of the bargain. Yes. I had another question before you leave. Go on. You're not the one that's... There's not another one following me, is there? Nothing or that did I am aware of. So, did they lock eyes with you? Based on mm -hmm. their suspicion? I have yet to be seen. Good. I wanted to make sure that it stays that way. Of course. I have no intention to letting them know about you, unless they wish to make a deal with you as well, which I'd rather they don't. Only need one person needs to be sacrificed. One of your allies already has. Another? Indeed. Well, you made this interesting, but at the same time, I don't think I should know. What are you saying? You will not know. Good. Well, not good. Well, I'll keep my eyes open for... this shadow ganger. Very well. Keep me in touch if something happens with you know who. I would be really. Cool. I don't want to disappoint you. And I'll uh, meditate for about maybe another hour. Okay. And then I'm going to, uh, in my mind, cast Mind Walk. Okay. 
Um, Kane, around what time do you say that you would probably go to sleep? Um, I mean, what time is it at this point? Or like, uh, about, about like, like, decent way into what would probably be considered the afternoon. Mm hmm. Uh, I would say probably around one or two, but I'm gonna, in a period of time where I'm just kind of like keeping an eye on things, just like sitting down, I'm gonna think in the back of my head. And I'm going to try and communicate with Titan. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh boy. Oh, Great. Oh. All right, Can you get... roll a d100? Okay. Throw the pot. Throw the pot. Oh, boy. Do, I have, do I have to roll against 50. that, by the way? Yeet. Hmm. Because <clears throat> that's not explained. If what? something like that occurs, do well, I have to roll? This is before. Okay, all right. This good. is before he d drifts off into sleep. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> and three big bads in a row. <laughs> what could go wrong? You kind of just <laughs> let your focus shift. Mm-hmm. And you find yourself standing amongst the aftermath of a battlefield, bodies strewn about, constructs destroyed, um, horses, animals, villages decimated. You look over and you just kind of see this like lumbering silhouette in the sky. Mm hmm. Beak. It seems that we're both at an impasse. I cannot be rid of you, and you currently cannot be rid of me. Is there a way we can come to some sort of agreement? Lord. I wish to f find a way to end the cycles in a way that would not cause havoc upon the multiverse. Would you have any knowledge of that? Our goals are not in line. You wish to continue the cycles then? Yes. For what purpose? Destruction. Power. But that could be done without the cycles. The world can only be destroyed once. But with the cycles, the world is rebirthed. Let's see. Another question, then, I guess. Why did the cycles happen? It all started because of them. That one entity. It bestowed its blessing upon those such as I. We were slaves after that. You don't have the potential. What? To end the cycles? Hmm. You don't have the potential to rid yourself of me. I didn't think I would. I will be free. You will die. We'll see about that. I'll just kind of like turn my back away from him. 
when you turn and you just kind of like blink your eyes, you find yourself just back where you were in your room. Mm-hmm. So, do you go to sleep? I would probably. I'm about to take like a few minutes to process it, and then yeah, I'll go to sleep. Hey, before before anything happens, retcon that. Would I enhance ability? Ah. Uh, Al's okay. wisdom. Okay. Meditate. Okay. And in my mind, I strike a gem, and I cast a uh, mind walk. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So, are you casting it on? I am. I have to cast it on myself first. Ah, uh, okay. And now I'll go to explain what's going to happen, and Yeet's going to tell you all if I'm successful or not. Hmm. Yeah. Basically, I leave my body. I become incorporeal, a, a visage. I'm like a very murky, translucent image of myself. But I'm neither on the Feywild nor the... Or would I be... Actually, good question. Would I be in the ethereal plane? You would be in a balance of the dream realm. Okay. All right, thank you. I'm going to start approaching the... Uh, I guess the... Uh, the inner sanctum of the area and start looking for my um my party i'll start with like guess the courtyard yeah because i heard some shenanigans there yeah um you see kind of like this magical barrier and inside like it's different everything's a little bit different here um everything's a bit more kind of like eccentric and more out there like you almost you see Lucas almost like curled up in what seems to be like an egg of sorts. Okay, I touch him, and then okay. I make uh, I make my way, just a very hey. gentle touch on his uh, temple, and then I uh, start looking for gotcha. the next party member. Um, it's a wisdom save, right? It's, yeah. Because this wasn't discussed prior, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be, so but... wisdom save. Um, with dis with does disadvantage. Heroes, wait, wait, wait. Does Heroes Feast still go? Because I would have advantage on wisdom saves. Yes. But you have disadvantage from. Oh, yes, he does. That's true, actually, yeah. So it's just base roll. Alright. So, d20? Yep. Wisdom saving throw. Alright, cool. All right. Yeah, I'll, I, I won't. I'll, I'll fail immediately. That's, right. just, that's just a six. Alright, um, so who's next? I will look for the next person. Just basically walk through the halls. Okay. And like, look, try to uh, gently open these ethereal, dreamlike doors into the rooms, looking okay. for my party. Soon enough, you see uh, Engage. I touch him on his uh, temple. All right, Engage, make a wisdom saving throw. Dis uh, well, no, you had Hero's Feast, so base. I also have a dungeon dweller, which gives me wisdom advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sadly, the that doesn't stack like that, unfortunately. Okay. No. Okay. I just was wondering. Sixteen plus uh, nine is twenty-five. Gotcha. Gotcha. That is next. All right. Next, I look, go down the hall looking for the next person. Um, come across, uh, Kane and not a Serian. That's just Kane. Okay. Wisdom save Kane. Mm -hmm. Base roll. Okay. All right. All right. Next would be, uh, Lele. Okay, so we'll be fine. Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, baby. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Wow. Well. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Um. Brock. Sleeping on somebody's floor. A six. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. 
So, Lazily is the only one to have resisted Squall. Okay. Wait, did one engage? Or, and you were like a twenty-five. Engage. Uh, it, it, there's, there's, uh, there's negative numbers involved with how close he is to y'all. Oh. It's similar to scrying. I see. Okay. I uh, feel an inkling of power and whatever dreams you're feeling or in or thoughts, even if they're loose, even if you don't even dream, you're now suddenly con- connected. Oh. And we begin ah, our I dream just... and our thoughts in Lucas's because he was the first candidate. Oh. What are you thinking about, Gus? Lucas. To be honest, I was probably thinking about the Mets, every- baby. It's all about the Mets. It's all about the Mets, baby. Go Mets. Mets. Let's go Mets. I was probably Let's thinking Mets. about what has been going on. Probably about that. Uh, the book. Probably about that floating book. Aeon, Jack, just all of them. Because it's just like these are new um, people I've met, and I'm just like. Okay, so how far back does this go? How far back do the cycles go since they were like one of the original ones that went? Mm. So wait, what are you trying to visualize here? Basically going through my head on how far back how far back do the cycles go? Um... Well, that's an interesting way to see it. Um, you find yourself in kind of like you all find yourselves in like this ever expanding hallway. Oh, minus Lele. Minus me. Yeah, minus her. There you go. Where'd my pets go? Ah, good. You're all. Most of. Wow. Didn't know she had an inner. Well, <laughs> most of you all are here. Darn it. What you bring us um, in? What's wrong? Yes. With you? Um, this is Lucas's mind. Why are we in your mind? We're in his mind now. Why? <laughs> anyway, um... You already made it. Oh, you made a hut for us. It's in the shape of a strange... Eye glue. Very interesting. <laughs> so, I brought you all here to discuss. We are all protected from... Most of those... Well, to my knowledge. Even the deities... Themselves... We're shielded from here. Very few, if any, could pot- potentially penetrate his mind. Anyway, we have some discussions to go across. First of all, I had a similar discussion in the mind of Jake earlier today. Gate shed me some light on what had been transpiring with him and Raksha and, well, Aeon and Aaron, dear. It seems that uh, we probably won't be seeing Aaron, dear, again. They are virtually destroyed. As for, well, this is for you all to keep to yourselves. Don't. Why is there no dragon weed here? I take control of Lucas's thoughts and I give some dragon weed in his hand. Ah, thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I start to take a little more control of his mind and I cast a table and seats for everyone to sit at. This might be a bit of a discussion. Um, sit down. I feel like somebody's just jumbling my mind and I'm just going, ah! Lucas, whatever you do, don't think too much. It will cast all of us out immediately and well, we won't have any privacy, because with all that has happened, just today is a little jumbling from me. Oh, we don't know who we don't know who this new entity is. I have also come to channel and realize through just the dream realm that greed is still alive. Thankfully, the spirits of Told oh, me so. man. That sucks. So that leaves it to pride or lust. Hey, they said lust wasn't dead when I asked them. Or they just refuted to say entirely. 
though they said with their own words, no lust isn't dead. They looked at me all funny, and I asked them if greed was dead. He said, I will not elaborate further. Anyway. That's what I know. Um, don't, if we ever encounter Aeon in, in confrontation, try not to address him as Gibby. It might, and I'd hate to see him in a fully enraged state. Then again, we could take advantage of him and throw him off guard, maybe once, but maybe that would be only when we come to face him. I, if I do want... If I do say it, I want to not. I don't want to be the only one. I'll say it with you. Okay, just, I feel a little bit. I, I feel like a little bit better with you. Anyway, just don't say it any sooner. I, I'm not prepared to bring people back, or not have the ability to bring people back. I can take my we, soul. We all we all know how quickly he dealt with us before. Just let us know in our heads when to say it. Sure. I'll do hey, so. Why do you think he didn't take your soul? He I don't you? know. Oh. Maybe he thought my soul would be trapped in the astral plane. I don't know. Uh, he has he has eons of me in terms of magic and concepts that are still beyond me. Well, they took for a rule just for the souls. Yes. For what, we still don't know. Anyway, back on topic. I also asked him about, well, someone we've had dinner with recently at our keep. Someone who's... Alba's been growing quirky in ways that I have didn't think she would uh, visibly give off. And that was the right, the true Alba. Was it not, Lucas? I think so. She looked a lot more vibrant than the ones that I've seen in other places. Can't believe you have like a hundred wives. Basically, she's, she's we need to. Life. As I said before, when we were talking to the Avatar who had gotten our stuff back, um. Be very careful what we say, because she's also a very potent magic user. She aids us, yes, but I still think she has some secrets that she's keeping to herself that may influence the outcome of the cycles. Yeah, I don't trust her. So she is a neutral assailant at this point. Treat her with respect, but at the same time, be wary of her. Okay. Um... I guess the other one is, your father had has an inscription on him. Thierry. My dad? Even, yes, your father. Thierry. Yes. Does that ring a bell to you? Does it? Not at all. Well, the name Any doesn't of you. ring a bell, but I think, I've, I think I've seen that inscription before, right? And then I'm going to insight check everyone and their answers. Does anyone... Have any of you heard that name before? No one here is familiar. Do I know anything from the name from my researcher feet? Nothing. Oh, researcher feature? I'm rolling just in case he... So, uh, 17 plus... So... Yeah, Lucas, uh, unfortunately, 33. your researcher feet does not help you here. Oh. I see. Well, it seems no one here, including myself, knows. But something has to do with the fact that your father, Proc, was one of the, not original, but very, he was part of a previous cycle and made a decent headway and had confronted Lust himself. I would like, that. yes, but I like to believe thought Thierry was her, but I think it could be an alias for someone we've met, someone who's been disguised that has aided us or maybe confronted us before. The Mets, baby! <laughs> Something about the Mets. Don't. The birds have strange names here. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe if we um, uh, walk up to Lust and say that name, maybe she'll piss her pets and give her us. Uh. Her artifact. Give us her. Give me. No. So you said this was. This was. 
on Torjaws? Was it a that... tattoo? It uh... seemed to be a magical inscription, something like a tattoo, but different, like a branding. Normally they would get the tattoo of somebody they wish to remember. I thought he got it stabbed through him. It was a, uh, it was a scar tissue. Okay. Yeah, he stabbed it in him. So that he... means that person wrote wrote it in s themselves in his skin. I think it was him. He wrote it. Torjaws himself. Yep. For what reason? Uh, maybe he is forgot. it something that escapes your mind the moment you don't see them? Oh well, did I ask my uh, Torjaws about it before, Garrett? Uh, he did. He just said it was uh, someone that he doesn't quite remember, but it, he just he doesn't remember who did it to him. He just remembers having it. Yeah, he told me he forgot about it. I remember how he got it, but it's there. It's always been there since I've known him. So he did it to force himself to remember. Probably. That seems the assumption. Yes. Either that, or maybe someone did it to him. You never know. Maybe he did it in the maybe he did it in the heat of the moment to to at least remember something. Or someone as many scars on him for that to be the most prominent. I think it's a message from himself. Wisdom that escapes the erasure of our memories that would occur with living through so many of them. Those of us who have yet to truly experience the success or failure of that. I guess the other thing would probably be um, I asked him can we trust her and he gave me no answer he was as if he was protecting her I'm unsure you asked who that? Jake back at the oh we could trust all of them Jake? yes and he is I couldn't read through him he's very as if Cain had eons of experience, I cannot penetrate any form of... I thought his name was Jack. Was Jack. it Jake or Jack, Yeet? Shit, y'all don't know. I wrote down Jack because that's what Yeet told me when he was drunk. Oh. Or I guess drunk? Deprived. I don't know. I think they get the message, what, they're, what I'm trying to say. If it's like, like <laughs> every time his name has been called something different, so. Yeah, I remember you. And you, I'm doing it you, as you well. Okay, it. It was okay. all right, fine. Well, can we, so, man, what if Jack, Jake, Jack's the final boss? <laughs> out, out, out of character. Out of character. <laughs> huh. Huh. Riding, okay. on a, riding on a black dragon is Jack. <laughs> All right. The other beauty of this place is you can show me memories that you have in your mind so we can all learn of, to assist ourselves. Well, I mean, I think y'all have seen everything I've done. I got nothing to hide. Unless I do. Do I have something to hide? Hmm. Anything y'all want to know? I mean, what can we know? Does anyone have anything to add? This is just the things that I've learned from the originals of us that came much before us and almost succeeded. Almost. Let's see. Rock, I never met your mother. Me neither. Was she gone before you? I don't know. There's just so many moms. Wait oh. a second. Lele. Lele's not here. Lele's not here. I know, I know she's not. But I did ask a question once about that. And I was told not to further be inquisitive of it, as if it was a warning. Oh, her mom? Don't tell me. <laughs> what, her mom? What are you talking about? <laughs> I know where this thought process is going. <laughs> What's her mom do, Squall? We might have a clue. Cool but... What? We'll have to get Layla here in here next time. I want to be sure. 
should. I don't want to jump to conclusions. There's a. This place is very dangerous. I'm maintaining hold of it, but. These visions that we can all think can haunt, if not harm us. Understand that. It's connecting all of our minds together. We're not meant to be a hive mind. It's meant just here for. To learn what we can about one another. I have said all I can garner and muster of what I've experienced. You've now met my sister, most of my family. <sighs> you got Is anything it? to hide? You got something special going on behind our backs? What makes you say that? No, nothing. I mean, you asked all of us. It's only fair I ask you, yeah. Oh yes, the 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 city of ice and steel. I should show you that, so in case we end up going there. I'll show us I, that memory. I try. I try to very carefully manipulate Lucas's mind mm -hmm. <laughs> to implant portions of what I see, and okay. casting the scape of us floating. In a void of air, wind, gusts, clouds, and then, like a curtain, a grand s city begins floating forever, forever in the sky. No bottom, no end. Just there. Why do I feel like after all this, I feel like I want to roll for minus intelligence for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Changing my mind is not a good thing. <laughs> I'm not modifying your memory, I'm just I know, I know. constructing images that you could even perceive. Okay. And I show them where I went and how I uh, brought back um, our rock gnome, mm -hmm. our deep gnome, brought him back, how he aided me, and then I, I stopped from there. Wow. You went on a journey. Yeah, you were going crazy. And then I, I show him me coming back to the realm with him. Yes, this is Char. When I was Char to protect myself and you all in case Aeon had other plans. Oh, shit. Which he still does, as we learned. So, anyway. question. Yes. Do you show them the end of your time in the place? No. Okay. They wouldn't know, because I can manipulate the mm -hmm. images. Yep, that's all I was checking for. Squall would never hide something from us. I don't know Man. why. Anyway, um, Kane, I don't think it's a good idea for you to show us Titan. I think it would be very I think damaging to... I don't think it would be good. I think we all have a general idea what the first avatar of wrath is like can could you say not yourself do you well i don't i want to see him i i, I pull like up the what, others <laughs> i cast a minor illusion in my hand well here's a miniaturized version of what he looks like and it's just the the, the demon that we saw outside the shop back in uh for rule <laughs> isn't that that's a shake my head yeah, that's no, a, that, that, isn't that a pit fiend? That's a pit no, fiend. It's, my dad it's, fought it. He beat it. Yeah, my so dad off of. That yes, is not he did. Of, You're lying to me. My dad beat a pit demon, and he said he couldn't so, beat Titan. Wait, he, am I able to do the thing he did, or is it he has to do it to like show memories? You no, you you can you can tech, I mean, you without disregarding that, you can technically do so as well. We're in a shared mind space. I, I believe my father before anybody image else. of Titan. Nope. Oof. If you would all direct your attention to the Yitri D and D channel. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, boy. oh, oh, boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is quite wow. a bit of swords. Wow. He's nailed. Take a look at that guy. Huh. So that's what 
Dormant I would have never you. pinned that as the image. <laughs> so this is the primordial wrath. Interesting. Well, I could probably beat him up. No. No, you couldn't. Oh. I'll take your word. It, is he a mix of a dragon? In a I don't know. He looks more like a he looks more like a dragon centaur. Kane, your mind is very rigid for something that dwells within you. I think you have my respect. I've seen a lot of things in my time. I understand. Oh, wait. Your father, if we encounter him. Right. Well, I don't know if he looks like this anymore, but to show him of what my dad looks like the last time I saw him. Wasn't your hmm. father a lich? Was, was yes. he a lich the last time you saw him? I am so sorry. What? I am so sorry. So, did someone ask me a question? No, 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 no. I just... What's happening, that's all. Now, your father's kind of cool looking. Mm -hmm. You reckon he could have beat up my dad? Mm, probably. I think this would have been an interesting fight. I think it would have been fun. My dad would have loved to fight him. Is he dead now? Is your dad dead? No, he's supposed to be here in the Feywild somewhere. Really? I think yes. that's where I think that's where we should be looking next. Yeah, absolutely. If we get your dad, then we could fuck around with lust. Then oh. we could probably get back. Since this is a really strange technicality, I now know what his father looked like. Correct? Oh, uh, yeah. So would that aid me in my scrying? Ooh, you'd get like the lowest buff. Fair enough. So I have their name. Failure. I have yeah. their name. I have a and decent yeah. second-hand knowledge. I, mean, I also technically have the journal, too. So I would have a something he possessed. Woo. Oh. We stay winning. Ah. Well, this is good. I think we might be able to... As we're able to track down my sister, I think we should be able... To, we might be able to find your father next. You're not against Did, that, are you? Didn't we just not. stumble into your sister? Well... By chance. I was looking for her, yes, but the fact that we... That Argus was the breadcrumb trail was a string of fate, I think. Uh, I like fate. Yes. Sometimes. Anyway, um... We're not... Something I think we're all... Also know. Oh, yes? It still did not start with the Sims. Who did it start with? A single entity. Was it the one inside? Cycles was created by it and binded those that became the Sims. Oh, so the thing inside of you was bound by the thing that started the cycles? Yes. Uh, you know what that thing is? No. Well, I, I asked because I would talk to Titan about it. Oh. Oh. Oh, it talks to you. Oh. Hey, you, you could talk to him. Interesting. Apparently. What's he sound right. like? I... He does not wish to end the cycles. He wishes oh. them for it to stay because it is endless destruction. Hmm. And he can wreak upon the world. He's a loser. That is very sadistic of them. It would not be the, as the primordial aspect of our Ath without that. It was not. Um, I think we're all in understanding and, well, until we get a hold of Maxi and Lelele, we're all in unison on trying to be wary of Lelele and trying to find Kane's father and seeing if Lust is alive or not. Where did Maxi go? I don't know. He scampered off. They were there he's... a second ago. Maybe he's dancing around the... a fire. They don't even know the, uh, they don't even know how the castle, they don't even know the, uh, they don't even know how the castle is. Like, he Are you know talking about your is. hut? It is a very nice hut, by the way. Very well constructed. Yeah. You might be talking about that castle. You'll start to notice a little bit of fog from me smoking so much in the hut. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> also, I caught that comment right back. <laughs> so messed up. <laughs> Which one? That he's probably dancing around a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere's in the distance. All you hear is just bongos as he's just going around the campfire. Max's life has come full circle. So, I know many of you were not expecting this. Um, I was on my guard. I sense Kane was on guard for something as well. Something has been following me, apparently. And Kane, you can show them what it was. I mean, I only saw an afterimage of what it was. It was just an yeah. afterimage of you. Yes, something that was trailing me when I was collecting. I would just show him, like, recreate the scene of what I saw. It was just a, like a phantom afterimage of me and black eyes with me. Well, do you think that if I stab where Squall was a second ago, it's that I kill now. it? This is uh, a dream, Ralph Brock. It's please nothing. don't stab things in my head. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgot yes. it was your head. He might have a splitting headache when he wakes up. But actually, it, when, <laughs> when you think you about up, it... I never sleep. Uh, actually, technically, you were sleeping. Uh, my magic has made us all. In a, like, thought, a thought realm. Ain't that, like, impossible for him? Uh, wouldn't Bay Ancestry trigger, then? Because I have advantage versus charms and no magic sleep. It's not a charm. I know, and but it's I not can't exactly a, It's not exactly a sleep. Um, your body is still awake, but your subconscious is currently over here. Okay. Yeah, so you're not sleeping. Yes. You will recall all of this, but at the same time, it may or may not interfere. I will say this, it's going to impact me the most out of all of you. I wanted to risk this because knowledge is very sacred and needs yeah. to be earned and shared. Here I said it would impact me the most because you're in my you're all in my head. Yes, this is why I told, warned you not to think too much of things that could harm us while in here. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Yes. <laughs> Rock, no. I start, I start imagining Titan. <laughs> Please. Is that kind of nightmare, thing for nightmare, you? Nightmare. It would be only if I did. Because that's anyway. probably nightmare fuel. <laughs> well, um, I think we're all in conclusion of what our next steps are. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're right. leaving in the morning, right? Yes, uh... Engage, you're fine with this. I know you're still new to the group, but all this is still new to you, learning about us, and I know you're trying to still earn our trust, but... Wait, can... I trust you. Engage, what yes. did you and Aeon talk about? Ah, I'm yes. Still in here. You're protected, so you should... You can tell us. Actually, you could show us. You can, actually. You can actually recall the whole conversation. So, I take a long toke from my joint, and I stand up, and I show them me going through the door into a void. Wow, and up. I was basically just held captive. He didn't talk to you or nothing? This is very... amicable of him to be so... welcoming, but imprison you at the same time. I feel before. there's a... I feel there's a reasoning behind what he did. Is there a history between you two? No. Insight check this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to roll against it? You have to make a deception check. Okay, it's so just a d20. But with what Aeon gave you, you do have advantage currently. Okay, so d20. Ah! One more? You know what, yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. check right. as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm, okay, uh, 14. And then... Oh, 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 that's gonna be like a 30. Uh, 14 plus... Where's my insight? Fuck. Uh, uh deception, uh, deception. Oh, deception. Uh, where is my deception? One. Oh, sorry, I don't know. Oh, what plus to three, so uh, seventeen. All right, oh, yeah, oh, thirty-one we, in total. We would both know. All right, just just read your numbers out. What's your totals? Mine would be. 
Increase 31. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -oh. <laughs> you both can tell that Engage is currently lying. Uh huh. So, uh. Um, what happened after this, uh, bubble of void? Well, no, y'all can tell that he's lying that there is, know. That, that, like, about the connection. I know, I know, but I'm continuing the conversation. I don't gotcha, want to give gotcha, him the gotcha. hint that we figured him out. Gotcha. In the void, I was basically taunted. Uh-huh. Seems like something he would do, don't you think, Kane? Mm-hmm. And... And I trust all of y'all to trust me. I cut off my finger. <laughs> Where'd your finger go? It's not here. Why'd you cut it off? Because it hurts. Why are you think hurting? It hurts. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to. Right now, I'm going to be in a lot of pain when I wake up. So. So, if y'all trust me, I will show y'all. Go ahead. And instead of showing them what happened in the room, I show them my first conversation with Aeon. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Alright, time to roleplay. <laughs> the DM finally gets to talk again. <clears throat> Eat, this is why I said I'm sorry. It's been so long. <laughs> you all are brought to um this floating platform uh in amidst uh what seems to be these like pipelines with like just these ghastly images flowing through them. Um, you're seeing things through Engage's perspective. Um, and he's, like, you see him kind of look left to right, whatever. He's being escorted by two Death Knights. And he's, like, brought onto the platform, and he begins to kind of just ascend. Until he's, like, both sitting, but, like, stood before, like, a throne. And you all see Aeon in his elven form. He just kind of steps forward to the engage that's there. Kind of looks at him. Well, your wishes are being answered. You wish to be a more powerful necromancer? I will supply you with everything you need. All you gotta do for me. Just run into a half orc known as Proc Jaws. Everything else will come into play after that. And whenever you meet them all, please do take your time in killing them. Do this little thing for me, and I promise you power beyond your comprehension. And you just kind of pat, like you see him, like just kind of pat the head, and then just for like a split of a second. You see this deformed entity, this nightmarish construct. Something that's almost unimaginable, just flicker. He just kind of smiles in his own form. We'll be very good friends. And you were all back to where you were before. Ah, oh, so you were hired to kill us? Hang on, before they say anything else. I then show them the conversation I had just a while ago. I don't, I don't think I need to re roleplay that one. No, that you one. don't. No. Yeah. That one from earlier, yeah. So, I see. my you know task what? before anybody says anything, I was tasked with this only out of my greed for power. I've come to grow fond of all of you, very fond. And I'm starting to see the deception in Aeon. I don't trust him anymore. 
but I've come to trust y'all. I would need y'all to play along from here on out. This is a very dangerous game you've meddling with him like this. But at the same time, he has a way of underestimating us as well. We'll do what we can. Well, I can only vouch for myself. Everyone else, that's up for them to decide, but... Now, I mean, you, now know, know this. this. As long as y'all trust me, I am the only one, as far as I'm aware, that he will be rid of. Other than further along if he's still after y'all. But I plan... Well... I can't really say I want to give you all the full plan yet. But I do want y'all to know that I am on your side. And the one I am supposed Alda. I don't Alba. intend Alba, sorry. I don't intend to harm her. Insight check. That was truth. I know. Right, I'm still no, rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> A million. <laughs> so Do I need to roll deception? Yeah. <clears throat> now you don't even need to. I mean, if you're telling the truth, you don't need to. Yeah, yeah. I am telling the truth. I'm just uh. Yeah, I got you. So if you have any questions for me, I will answer. But no, I am limited, because I do not know how many ties he has to me exactly. Oh, uh, you think you could have killed us? If you wanted to? You? Maybe not. Aww. The rest? Well... I'm just gonna lock eyes him. I wouldn't recommend that. Hey, I don't intend to. No, like I, I mean, said, even if you did, I would not recommend that. Oh no, I don't intend to. I I, see I plan what he's to. Getting at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I plan to aid y'all. I plan to empower. I plan to continue my necromancy, but in the haste of helping those in need. I've done too many horrible things. Now I wish to atone. So hmm. cool. <laughs> so his power, so his power got upgraded by Aeon. Aeon's promising to. No, it's a promise to be handsomely for killing us. Okay. Question, I guess, to the cool. Since you use the spell, am I able to think my own thoughts without them being detected in this dream realm? You don't know that. I mean, he 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 gave his inkling of what you perceive to be truth or not. The only reason you suspected him is because of your. No, your I'm asking. Can I? Will my thoughts be detected? That's up to you. You have control okay. whether or not other people see it. Okay. Um, in the back of my head, I'm gonna think. Not so much, much to reaching out, but I'm going to think just, well, I understand you don't want to stand the cycles, but how would you want to help me take down the person that banished you? Mm -hmm. And that's all. Is there anybody who would like to know about my... Anything else? I understand and perceive everything. I think you're being re going to be very risky with this information going forward with this game you've got yourself involved with Aeon. Yes, that's why I must trust you. Well, we need to and make I... sure you do what you're, you can to keep yourself safe. Oh, we yes. We can keep ourselves safe to an extent, but you have to if you can guarantee your own safety in these very nefarious outcomes we find ourselves in 
then yes. My safety at the moment is own no concern to me. I, uh, as I said, I have some things to atone for. And being around you all has really opened my eyes to things I did not perceive in my later, or in my before life. And know that I will continue to conversate with him. But please, if he ever shows, as he did in the room before, to take me away, make sure you play the part. I give him a nod. Yeah, I've died twice now. I could do it another time. I don't intend for you to die, my friend. I intend for y'all to succeed. That's the plan, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for the information. Well, I want y'all to trust me. And I feel me coming forth with what I have is the best way possible, even though it leaves me very vulnerable to all of you. Yeah, yeah I trust you. Uh, I'm starting to feel the uh, spell strain. Um, we'll congregate <coughs> later on, but just know this. Um, I'll tell you the day... I'll give you a finger the day we do it. It will be... my index finger and my middle finger on my right hand and my pinky on my left. Which number finger? I, I, sh I raise up the fingers that I have to show them the sign that I'll do this again on that day. And to basically, I don't know if it's all the time, but de if they know a spell will be cast on them, they would kind of have an idea of willingful to willingly. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. yeah, that's all. So I take it that anything thought here would be not said any anywhere else. You mean your thoughts? Anything that we said here should not be said no. to anybody else. That no, has not, not been in here. Not until we're uh, back in here again. I would like... Guo. Yes. Would you inform Leilele Le of what I told y'all with message when we wake up? Are you going to be leaving? No. I just don't have the ability to talk. Do it twice. Yes, I don't have mess that spell. I understand, but if we're in here again, you can tell her yourself. Ah, yes, yes. It yes, should yes, not. Okay. Trust should not never be secondhand, Gage. I see. I just. That, it has to be earned, as you I have understand. done so yet again. I kind of throw him a very subtle uh, head nod to him. Anyway, um, this is the sign. On that day, before we go to just think, I have thoughts to collect ourselves. I will gather you all again, and we will continue our march toward this very tumultuous future we keep treading on. And then the spell ends. All right. Um, b before the next day comes. Uh, hey, Lele, are you there? I was, I was, I was just about to ask. I, I didn't realize I was muted. Um, uh, before the like the next day comes, can I just say like what I was doing like the night prior, like right before I went to bed? Sure. Like while everyone was like, okay, so I'm kind of just uh, Lila's kind of laying in her bed, just in her bedwear, just like underwear or like an undershirt or something, and. She's just sitting with, like, in that pose with her, like, hands behind her back looking at the ceiling, like, man, I love my team. I hope I get to learn more about them soon. <laughs> Even more about them soon. <laughs> very, in a very ironic way. And uh, she turns to kind of the bedside and says, also, uh, I, I, I hope to bring all of you to, to peace someday. As, as she looks at her 13, uh, her 13, like, you know, unknown coins. And uh, they're like oh. kind of sprawled on the table, and she, you know, grabs her bag of holding. 
All right, and she picks one up, one up, like one at a time. Good night, Biggs. Good night, Crum. Good night, Crum. Good night, Wedge. Good night, Nita. Good night, Piet. Good night, Lennox. Good night, R Brig. Good night, Ridge. Good night, Yularen. Good night, Evan. <laughs> Good night, Sakara. Good night, Doom. Good night, Doom. MF Doom. <laughs> and she she puts her her bag of holding at the end of the bed, and. Uh, just falls asleep. <laughs> ah, actually, oh, would, would you literally feel somebody try to touch their head? No. So, okay. real quick, hmm. night takes you. Okay. Turn up the music a little bit, by the way. Okay, uh, I will do so. You find yourself standing in what seems to be just like the ocean's reflection of a somewhat cloudy sky but whenever you look up it's almost as if the ocean is sitting above you as well Aww. and you just start to see kind of this form of energy become to come forth and it takes a form that you haven't seen in some time hmm. it's what would be considered the mortal form of pride oh. oh he does not look well oh uh hello You're the only one I'm able to get a hold of. Uh, don't. I am. I am the dream spirit that was associated with him. I see. Am I. He's died. Pride? Has. died? Followed. Oh. So he's the. So what does this mean of. All of those who have made a contract with him. They were already killed. What? They were all killed. Oh shit. Uh, they are just husk. Uh, but. E even my friend? If your friend was unfortunate enough to make a deal, yes. I look down into the water. Uh. Oh. But my strength is leaving me. I have none to attach myself to. Why approach me, of all people? You were the only one of your group that had encountered what he was before. Oh. Uh. And you're the ones that know of the one who killed him. You kind of watch as, like, the dream kind of begins to, like, start falling apart almost. Do be careful. Vin is coming. V oh. oh, fuck! And oh. the session ends. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Who the fuck is Vin? Oh, my what God. Fucking the, the Dragonborn monk. What is he made of? Vin killed Bruh. him? Vin killed Pride? Uh, it seems like alone too. Oh my freaking god! He did get a fragment of chaos. Oh yeah, but it's tough. <sighs> Could have boosted him, you know. Why is he coming for us? Aeon Hiram. He probably wants our artifacts. Uh, oh god. boy. Oh. Oh. This is so fucking cool. This is that awesome. was sick. That was that was a good that was, session. That was a great session. Max, you, good. Max, you dumby, if you're listening to this, you missed out on something cool, but I hope you're having a good time wherever you are. Yeah, this is me coming from the future if you ever decide to listen to this session. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that went very well. Awesome. You can hit the recording whenever you want. Alrighty, I'll end it. Um, get, I'm about <laughs> dizzy. Alright, well, um, I'll end the, re the recording. Any last words? Ten? Nine? Eight? Seven, six. For some reason, I have a headache. Five, <laughs> one, three, two, one. The myth.